Welcome, vaqueras and vaqueros. Today's article is on Changing the World for Women by Janae Johnson. First, a shout out to Kimberly Gonzalez de Jesus. She got the highest high score on April 24th in Miss, Har in Miss Harville's period seven. Throughout the world, women have fewer rights than men. Women generally earn less money for, the do for doing the exact same work as men. In many countries, violence against women is a fact of life. Oftentimes, women are too afraid to speak up since they feel nothing will be done. In many poor countries, women are not allowed to, to open bank accounts even though they are the ones who earn the money. In the poorest countries, women's, women's lives often focus on bringing water to their homes. That means that many girls are not in school getting educated. And education is power. In March, a woman named Fizumle Malambo Naguka spoke to the United Nations about how technology can help improve women's rights around the world. One of the ways technology is improving gender equality is through the use of mobile phones. Learn about how technology plays an important role in giving women equal rights in today's article. Today, you will be answering the thought questions after you finish the, the activity. Write a male paragraph about the role of technology in women's equality. You only need one example from the article. But it says provide at least three examples, but you only need one. I hope you enjoy the I hope you enjoy the video. The mobile phone has really turned out for women in the developing world to help them fight so many gender barriers. I mean, mobile technology, I wouldn't have predicted it, but it has become a massive empowerment tool for women. When you're out in the developing world, they will talk to you about information they've gotten over their phone, whether it's uh, the crop price at market so that when their vegetables get taken to the market by a middleman, they're not taken in terms of the price. They know what the price is at market, so if he comes and tells them he got a lower price, they have the information. Um, it's empowerment for women because they're not welcomed at banks in the developing world. They often don't have the means to get there. They'll tell you even if they do, somebody will rob them on the bus. They get to the bank, they're, they're completely unwelcomed. Whereas when they're out in their remote village or if they live in a township, they can save a dollar a day, $2 a day, $5 a day on their phone, and then they can count that that money is secure and their husband or their brother-in-law or their neighbor can't get to it. So all of a sudden, the mobile phone through information, through financial services, through all kinds of other services that we can't even dream about, it has become this empowerment tool. And women will tell you when they get hold of it, it changes their life.